Hi, welcome. This is Rob DeGrasse with RD3 Sustainable Solutions. Welcome to the Mercy Housing Level 1 Self-Energy Audit Training Session for those conducting and completing the paper audit and then following through with uh, the online survey. This session is the first of several sessions uh, that will be delivered to you separately. This is the overview session. We will start with a basic overview, provide the situation. Um, the necessity to conduct a level one audit is uh, for the understanding of energy conservation opportunities in this ever increasing cost of utilities environment that we currently see ourselves in. And most of the sites at uh, Mercy across the country have not had uh, any level of proper energy audits, either a level one, a level two, or level three conducted uh, at the sites to identify energy conservation measures, ECMs, that are available for either immediate or future planned execution. The cost of the energy audit is one of the biggest hurdles uh, that uh, was facing the uh, Mercy portfolio and that is why it is a self-energy audit. <clears throat> the objectives uh, for the self-energy audit are to develop an uh, energy short and long-term conservation uh, plan for each of the properties and within the portfolios. Second, to identify energy and ut utility cost savings opportunities, ECMs, energy conservation measures, at the sites and within the portfolios for programmatic delivery. Third, complete the audits at the lowest, costable pos uh, lowest possible cost. Four, have at le the, the least disruption to the site and occupants as possible. Five, build an energy conservation measure business cases as appropriate for consideration and ex execution immediately or inclusion in the next fiscal year budget or for future plans uh, to integrate into rehabs or otherwise. And lastly, to, to have an active list of energy conservation measures ready for funding opportunities such as the stimulus funds, energy and utility rebates, incentives and grants, or other types of funds that may become available. One of the questions that often comes up is, why audit? <coughs> why bother? In short, it saves money, identifies energy conservation measures to reduce consumption of energy, and therefore reducing the site costs. It also creates a list of possible energy conservation measures now so that the property is in a position to take advantage of the various types of funding that may become available, be it the stimulus, rebate, and energy uh, incentives and otherwise. And lastly, uh, the, um, the reduction of uh, wasteful energy and unnecessary production of greenhouse gases, which is a critical component of uh, climate change. One of the other questions that have come up is, what is an energy audit? An energy audit is a key component in any organization's drive to reduce energy costs and abate greenhouse gas emissions. Energy audits are an investigation of the various facets um, and systems at a property um, so that uh, appropriate detail can be collected to identify and quantify the areas of energy uh, waste and uh, allow for projects or initiatives to be um, to tackle those uh, those areas. One of the other um, <coughs> areas um, um, is the online audit, and why a self audit. Uh, the self audit is uh, predominantly to speed the execution and reduce the costs of sending an energy engineer out to your sites. So by, by formulating a questionnaire that allows you to answer um, the various questions into a database, it allows RD3 to assist the GBCs and corporate to package together uh, energy conservation measures into opportunities both at the site as well as in groups for uh, programmatic rollout. The um, Online audit uh, is uh, structured so that it's easy to follow and allows you to complete those audits uh, in a detailed fashion. The level one self-energy audit will uh, trigger 
or identify opportunities in two key areas that are seen in this overview slide. Lighting audits and uh, detailed lighting audits and detailed heating, ventilation, and air conditioning aud uh, audits. Now these audits will be triggered based on the information collected on, in the level one self-energy audits and uh, contractors will be uh, sent out to con collect additional information to build business cases, costs, and returns for those uh, particular ECMs. We're now going to do a quick overview of the printed form and a, the next session will actually, uh, um, the next training session component or part will actually comprise of the paper audit and reviewing it in detail. This is a basic overview of the functionality of the form. So you'll see that with the form they're broken out into sections. You'll see one property information, that is the property information section. The first and only question the property information section has an asterisk to the left which means it's a mandatory question. You must answer it to proceed beyond that page in the online survey. Um, in this case, you'll see a list of properties, and you need to select one or the last one, which allows you to put in uh, an alternative property uh, name if your property is not listed. The uh, second section, number two, auditor information, is the primary contact in the event that uh, RD3 uh, needs to contact the site about either the answers that were provided or to provide clarity, information, clarification, or otherwise. You'll see the name, the title, position of the person, and the contact information. They're all mandatory fields. So the telephone or cell number and the email for the primary person of contact for the forms. You'll also notice a, a, a directional for the paper audit, the uh, go to number section after particular answers. Um, this is important when you're filling out the paper audit before you go to the online audit to allow you to skip over the sections uh, that are not applicable to your site. So in this question, for example, the me mechanical system domestic hot water, the question is if you have a central domestic hot water system. If you happen to answer yes, you would proceed to section four because the, this section is actually three as shown at the top in the darker green bar. If you answer no, the instructions tell you to go to section five. So you'd proceed to the next, uh, to section five in the dark banner at the top of each header. Um, this is uh, um, throughout the actual paper printed survey and also can be seen online but the online system will actually automatically push you to five whereas in the paper one we want you to take uh, pay t uh, particular attention to this to ensure that um, you do not fill out inappropriate information for your um, your uh, paper audit. Uh, we will uh, in another session uh, provide an overview of the online survey just a quick overview so that you can see how it functions um, as uh, the next uh, session that you will listen to is actually the paper audit review. It may be broken down into multiple uh, training sessions depending on length, so it's the part two. Part three will actually be the online demo, which would be fairly short, but it will show you how the actual online uh, survey functions and how it jumps past particular sections when you s answer those questions that uh, indicate it's going to go to an alternate section. If you have questions related to the Level 1 Self-Energy Audit, you can contact Steve Gavernick. His email is steve, S-T-E-V-E -E, dot G at rd3inc.com as shown. Telephone number is 303-870-5229. Thank you for listening to the overview section se uh, uh, se session and uh, Please uh, attend the following ones that will be provided.